Welcome to the Mentor Series Summary Video on Presentation Best Practices. You've been asked to give a talk. Great. Now what? Well, every great talk, whether it be a student didactic lesson, a grand rounds, or a call to action, requires great preparation. So, how can you prepare? Start by asking yourself three questions. Question number one, what do you want your audience to know? Be rigorous. Be specific. Identify objectives and take-home points, at most five in a one-hour talk. Question number two, why should they want to know it? Importantly, this is not why you want them to know it. To figure this out, you need to have empathy. Imagine yourself in your audience's shoes. What are their values? What's important to them? What gap do they need filled? You need to inspire them that what you are about to share is worth their while. This why is the most important part of your talk, because without this inspiration, your talk will fall on deaf ears. Question number three, how will they remember it? Before we answer this, let me ask you a question. Who was the hero of a talk? Is it the speaker or the audience? It's actually the audience. They are the Luke Skywalker, the hero in the room, apprehensively looking ahead at their formidable and, at times, boring journey. And you as the speaker are like Yoda, the hero's mentor, meeting your hero where they are and guiding them forward. Envisioning yourself in this role primes your teaching so that your audience actually remembers your talk. So what do I mean by that? Well, what do the mentors of heroes do in the greatest epic stories? They inspire the hero, clarify the mission, engage and re-engage the hero before they tap out, instill critical lessons, and sacrifice. Let's go through each one. First, inspire. This is your why. At first, heroes have a tendency to be skeptical or to self-doubt. They need to be convinced this journey is worthy of their efforts. Second, clarify. The journey must be clear. Instead of overloading with too much information, focus on what is critical and spend time connecting the dots. Be a guide. Bring clarity to complex topics with organizational tools like scaffolding and frameworks, and by making the content relatable through the use of analogies. Third, Engage and re-engage. Your heroes can easily get distracted and tired. As the mentor, you need to ensure you don't make it to the end of your journey alone while the hero is lost somewhere along the path. So how do you keep them engaged? Learn from filmmakers and use the concept of contrast. For educational talks, contrast means you should intentionally change something about your delivery or your content approximately every five minutes. Don't let your audience anticipate your next move. This ebb and flow provides a sense of forward momentum to your talk. Contrasting your delivery means to switch from where you were speaking. For example, move from the podium to the stage or sit instead of stand. It can also mean switching your visuals, like from a PowerPoint to a blank screen to a whiteboard. Or even changing who is doing the talking. Ask questions. Involve the audience in a demonstration. Or break into small groups at planned times in the talk. Contrasting your content means switching between pure fact-based information to emotionally rich content. And emotional content is not only valuable for engagement, but also for memory. This brings us to our fourth behavior of epic mentors. They instill lessons. Instruction does not leave their lips without first being framed in a way that is memorable. Simply stating facts is not memorable. To instill lessons... Leverage the following emotional tools, stories, hypotheticals, humor, questions, novelty, and visuals. These tools can modulate neurohormonal transmitters like oxytocin to build a sense of trust and empathy within your audience, as well as dopamine, which promotes engagement and memory. Your heroes, your audience, are real people. Connect with them in real, meaningful ways. The first tool, stories, are perhaps our most valuable tool because they not only increase engagement and recall, but they can build trust, break down barriers, and help others consider different viewpoints. Stories should be descriptive so that our audience feels as if they're experiencing the story themselves. And our stories should have conflict and build tension. Hypotheticals, creating a scenario or story for the sake of example, can also be considered. 
Humor can be used immediately before delivering a take-home point to ensure engagement is maximal. To leverage novelty, the brain's great attention getter, you don't need to deliver new information. Rather, think of new and creative ways to frame, approach, or organize information. Questions should be used to promote a sense of awe, wonderment, or curiosity. All of these are positive emotions. Visuals, of course, can enhance understanding and memory more than words alone. And a visual's ability to affect recall is boosted further if it evokes emotion. Finally, the best mentors sacrifice. To make our audience, our heroes, successful, we need to sacrifice something of personal worth, our time. By sacrificing our time to carefully prepare our talks in advance, it shows our heroes we care about them, and it makes them well-equipped for their journey ahead. In summary, giving a talk is challenging. To prepare your talk, start by concept mapping with three questions. What do you want your audience to know? Why should they want to know it? And how will they remember it? To help them remember it, prime your teaching by seeing yourself as the mentor. Then, inspire your heroes. Clarify their mission. Engage and re-engage them. Instill lessons and sacrifice. Happy teaching!